The packaging is so cute and sleek. I love that when you open it up, it says you are pretty. And the foundation itself is super sleek and cute. Once again, this overall packaging and product within itself is just amazing. This foundation is pretty and natural. The Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Aloe Vera provides a natural medium coverage finish and weightless feel for up to 24 hours, leaving you with the perfect combo of pretty and natural. This foundation is vegan, paraben-free, alcohol-free, oil-free, and gluten-free. So before I go ahead and apply the foundation, I just want to let you know that I have moisturized my skin and I went in with the Revlon Photo Ready um, Primer. So I already have that on my skin so it's ready to go. And I've just gone ahead and sprayed a little bit of my e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set on my sponge. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of the foundation now. And let's see how she goes on. I'm just going to use my other mirror so that I can see. Okay, she's definitely a medium coverage and I could already feel how it's like lightweight. It does feel like it's like I'm literally just applying like nothing on my skin. It feels very nice. So I can tell that it's probably a little lighter than my skin tone right now, but that's okay. I really just want to show you guys the coverage and how beautiful this foundation is. I've heard so many good reviews and I can totally see why people are, that what the hype is on this foundation. It literally feels like I haven't put anything on my skin right now and I love that. I love a natural, lightweight feeling, especially in a foundation that's like medium coverage. Like, look at that. And I must say, it smells very nice too. If you're someone who doesn't like fragrance with your foundation, I would probably not go with this. But it's not a very harsh scent. It's very, very soft and it smells really refreshing actually so i just used a little pump of that onto here and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply another good amount and then i'm gonna go on with the rest of my face so as you can see i do have some acne scarring and it's covering it really nicely I'm just going to pause for one second and I just want to feel the other side. Oh my gosh, this feels like, literally feels like I'm just touching my skin. And this is amazing. Oh my gosh, I actually really love it. I love the natural look that I'm getting. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever had a foundation give me this coverage but feel that lightweight and give me this flawless look like I love how natural this looks okay I'm gonna go ahead and apply some on the forehead now so I do add a little bit more I'm not going crazy either on this as you can see like it's tiny amounts that I'm using it's nothing like I'm not packing it all onto my sponge just glides on so easily to my skin as well like I don't feel like I have to sit here and dab at my face all day long to make sure that I have an even application it goes on really nice
as it's drying it doesn't feel like it's gonna get cakey either it literally feels so natural it's literally like another layer of skin that i'm wearing that's how it feels <laughs> it's nice lightweight it feels like my skin can still breathe without like i don't feel like it's clogging my pores like the other foundations feel like when you put them on right away it just feels like it's automatically clogging the pores right away and it feels very lightweight or dewy this doesn't feel dewy at all it feels very very nice on the skin so i know another thing is people want to know is this foundation buildable i would say it's I would say this is medium coverage for me for sure especially someone who has dealt with acne in the past i would definitely consider this a medium coverage for myself um but i also know that this foundation is buildable so what i'm gonna do now is show you guys the first layer it's flawless i'm gonna go in once more with that much and i'm just gonna see how buildable it really is Okay. Wow. It's definitely buildable and it doesn't, it's still not giving me that cakey feeling or look at all. It's staying, it's definitely mattifying. And it's in itself, it's pretty natural hydrating foundation. I definitely feel like it is hydrating. I don't feel like it's sucking the life out of my skin at all. Feels very, I'm going in with a little more. It just feels amazing on the skin. This foundation could literally be worn every day and it wouldn't bother your skin. I can just tell right now. So I just finished applying the foundation. I did two layers just to see how buildable it is. As you can see, this foundation is absolutely flawless. It is definitely more on the natural look inside. If you want full coverage, you got it here. You just do a couple layers and you have full coverage foundation. If you want, the less you add, the more natural it obviously is gonna look. But even with two layers, this gives a very natural, look this foundation is absolutely a 10 out of 10 for me this is literally the best foundation i've ever tried and i think it was like six dollars i will definitely make sure that i leave the link down below but for being at a drugstore and the quality of this foundation is just mind-blowing i'm absolutely obsessed so now what i'm gonna do is do a I'm gonna wear it for a few hours and come back and show you guys how my skin looks after wearing this foundation for several hours. Um, and then we'll I'll check back in with you guys. I'm probably gonna add a couple more things on my face um, or I might just leave it just like this just to see. But I also want to show you guys, um, I picked up this naughty, I don't know if it's a lip, this i don't know if it's a lip gloss or lipstick from the same brand so it is actually a lipstick but i thought it was so pretty i just had to pick it up i'll do a little swatch test right here look how beautiful that is so pretty um i'm not gonna put it on my lips today but that's how she looks and she's beautiful too i think this may be my new favorite makeup brand um, but like I said, I'm going to check back in with you guys in a few hours to see how well this makeup holds in place and whatnot. So see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm back. So I'm just doing my check-in. It's been about two and a half hours. I did film this video a little later at night. I filmed it at six and it's now 8.30. 
around 8 30 8 40 p.m so it is time for me to now wash off my face and get ready for bed but before i do that i did want to show you guys what my skin looks like as you can see here this makeup is absolutely flawless the only thing that i really noticed that i don't really like too much about it is that it does show the texture of my skin um quite a bit but other than that from a distance if you're not like up close which no one is right now because of covid um and we're just keeping our distance my skin looks ab absolutely flawless um it looks like it's airbrushed it's just when you come up closer that's when you can kind of see more of my texture on, on my skin which is actually completely normal when you do wear foundations but i noticed with this one that it is a little bit more textury than I would like, um, but I would still rate this foundation a 10 out of 10. It feels so nice on my skin. I still feel like I don't even have makeup on. I did go ahead and put on um, the lipstick that I showed you guys that I swapped on my wrist as this is what it looks like on my lips. And then all that I did was add some bronzer to my face, some blush and obviously some highlight as well but I didn't do anything to my brows or my eyes I just left that the way that it was I wanted more of a natural look so that that's what I was going for with this foundation so this is the complete update and I definitely would still recommend this foundation to anyone that's looking for something that's super lightweight and feels like you're literally in your own skin but it still gives you that coverage if you need it or want it um, so as you know I did do it is a medium built coverage but I did go ahead and apply it twice with a beauty blender on my skin so I went all over my face twice if you want less of that and you don't really have any acne marks to cover or anything like that i think going with a beauty blender all over your face one time would be enough for you but because i do have problematic skin and i'm still trying to get rid of my acne scar and i did have to go in two times for me to get the ideal look that i tend to go for when i I'm wearing foundation. I hope that you found this video useful or helpful or you just enjoyed watching it just to see what this product was like. Um, if you'd like to see more from me, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Like, comment, and share if you would like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye now.